guys, it's Hefe, I am back again, and this is going to be a tag video. This is going to be the foodie tag. I saw my friend Bad Kitty Beauty do this the other day, and I thought, oh, I should do this one. So, I'm doing it. There are 15 questions, and so we're just going to get into it. Number one, were you a picky eater growing up? Um, not as picky as my brothers were. I was pretty good. There were some things I don't like, and I actually still don't like them, but I eat them anyway, because they're good for me. Um, namely, like capsicum. Um, but I, I was not really, I was kind of weird, like I, I liked pretty much everything, but if like fruit or vegetables had like bruises or marks on them, I didn't want to eat them. Um, and we used to grow a lot of our own vegetables, and they'd have like bugs and stuff in them, and it made me not want to eat them. You know, like cabbages with bugs in them. It's, yeah. Um, but I like really like cabbage, so yeah. Um, I don't think I was particularly picky. My mum might say otherwise, but I don't think I was particularly picky as a child. Not as picky as some other people I know. Uh, number two, tell us your fondest childhood food story. Um. I don't really have any. Um, food has always been a little bit of an issue for me. Um, I have very low self-control when it comes to food. I'm an emotional eater and I probably always have been. Um, and so food was always kind of almost like this forbidden thing. I can remember, like this is not a fond story obviously, um, one Christmas I was, like, my grandparents used to put, like, nibbles and stuff out on the table, and so, like, you'd have your lunch and everything, and these nibbles would still be on the table, and I'd go back and I'd have, like, one of these nibbles, and my, I can remember my grandmother saying to me, don't you think you've had enough? And it was like, everyone else was still eating, she didn't say it to anybody else, she only said it to me. And, and I was chunky as a kid, let's face it, but it was, yeah, I was felt guilty about eating, so I don't really have any fond childhood type memories about food. Yeah. Uh, number three, what cooking skill or knowledge did you learn from your mum or whoever did the cooking when you were growing up? Mm, well, my mum did a lot of the cooking when I was growing up until I became like a teenager and then I pretty much took over um, and I learnt more by osmosis than anything else. It wasn't like I was taken into the kitchen and taught how to cook. Um, I just kind of watched and, you know, winged it from there. Um, occasionally, like, mum would be doing something in the kitchen and she'd ask me to, like, cut up an onion or um, stir something. So, um, but I also watched, like, cooking shows and stuff like that. So I picked up little bits of information and knowledge from that. Um, I watched my grandmother cook a lot, but she wasn't, she was kind of like an old school kind of cooker. She used to like steam the vegetables until they were like mush type of thing. Um, yeah, I, and I did a bit of cooking at school, like, but I learnt mostly by reading um, recipe books and following recipe books and trying stuff out and seeing how it worked. And then as I got older, I just kind of, like, I winged it. Or I saw a recipe on, like, a television show or something that I really liked, so I would, like, do it that way. These days, like, I look a recipe up on the internet and then I make it. I don't, like... So, yeah, it wasn't that I was ever taught how to cook. It was more that I just learnt it by observing more than anything else. Number four, do you have any food allergies? <laughs> I am uh, lactose intolerant. Um... And I have been my entire life, but it was one of those things that back in the 70s, it wasn't hugely recognised. Um, I wasn't breastfed as a baby. I was brought up on um, soy milk, which back in those days you used to have to mix up yourself. And apparently it smelled really bad. Um, <laughs> Um, but I drank milk later on, um, and it wasn't until I was in my late teen years that I started to realise that there was actually an issue, because I used to get massive stomach aches after, so you said, in Australia, there's this thing, South Australia in particular, thing called Farmers Union Iced Coffee, and it is legendary, and I used to drink a lot of that, and every time I drank it, I'd end up with stomach ache. 
I still drank it. And then I kind of realized why I was getting a stomachache, and then it was like, hang on a second. Um, yeah. And then I was drinking, um, like I used to have cappuccinos with my partner, like during the time we were separated, we used to go out and have coffee together a lot with our youngest. Um, the boy who was the youngest then. Anyway, um, we used to have cappuccinos all the time, and I started to get stomach aches all the time from the cappuccinos, and I thought, oh, that's like weird, um, because there's only a little bit of milk, I didn't think it would be an issue, and we thought maybe it was because it was aerated milk that it was causing a problem. So then I started having flat whites, and I kept on getting the stomach ache. So I eventually just started drinking black coffee, and like, so I literally drink black coffee, no sugar, no cream, no milk, no nothing. Um, and I don't get stomach aches. <laughs> I don't really get stomach aches from cheese or yogurt or any of those things unless I have way too much of it. Um, it's mainly just milk that is the issue. Um, as a result, because I'm not the only one that's lactose intolerant in my family, one of my boys is lactose intolerant and my mum is lactose intolerant. So now we just buy lactose free milk. Um, we used to buy soy but um, nobody really, I don't like the taste of soy myself so I won't drink it. Um, so if I wanted milk I wouldn't have that so we ended up going with lactose free milk and it's pretty easy to get in long life version which is what we buy. Um, yeah so we use lactose free milk. Um, I don't really have any other food allergies although because I have an autoimmune condition I tend to try to avoid um, certain food types like starchy foods um, and that sort of thing. There's other stuff I should be avoiding that I don't necessarily like, tomatoes. Um, but uh, yeah, things that cause inflammation in the gut are things that I try to avoid. It's not that I have an allergy to them, I just try to avoid them. Um, so. Uh, number five, what is your favourite fast food restaurant? Depends on what I'm buying. But because I avoid carbs a lot at the moment, um, and I avoid like um, gluten type products, because gluten can be inflammatory, um, I tend to like um, Subway because I can just buy a salad at Subway, although I could just make a salad myself and it's cheaper. Um, but still. Um, I like the chicken from KFC, um, even though it does have crumbing on it that I probably shouldn't eat. Um, and I like um, spiders from um, McDonald's, although I'm trying not to have those anymore because they're not good for me. <laughs> yeah. uh, what is your favourite dining restaurant? I don't have one. It's not something I do. Uh, do you prefer eating out or cooking? I prefer someone else to cook for me so I can eat at home. I don't really like to eat out because I don't like spending money that I think is unnecessary to spend. Um, when I've got a house full of food, you should just eat what's at home. Um, I would prefer not to do all of the cooking. I do the majority of the cooking, but I would prefer not to. Um, food always tastes better when someone else cooks it. Well mostly. Um, yeah, but if I had to pick one of those two, it would be cooking over eating out. Um, if you had 30 minutes to get food on the table, what would you make? Chicken stir fry. Which we eat a lot. <laughs> it's quick, it's simple, it gets on the table really quickly. You can pack heaps and heaps of vegetables into it. Yeah. Um, Nine, do you have any rags to riches meals? Or do you have a rags to riches meal? I don't know what that is. It's a no. I'm like really simple. I don't really eat fancy food and I don't have a yearning to eat fancy food. Um, and I don't find a lot of the time that fancy or expensive food tastes any better than good basic wholesome cooking. So, yeah. Number 10, if you were at the corner of an intersection and each corner was a place to grab coffee, McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks or a gas station, where would you go and what would you order? Um, okay, so, um, 
never had Dunkin' Donuts because I don't think we have them in Australia. And I've never had Starbucks because I don't think we've got them in South Australia. I don't even know if we've got them in Australia. Um, McDonald's coffee is fucking awful, in my opinion. And gas station coffee is often just as bad. Um, so I... Mm, probably wouldn't go to any of them and order anything because I don't know what the coffee's like at Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. I hear that it's really good, but I haven't tried it, so I have no opinion on them. So, um, yeah, I just don't like McDonald's coffee. I've drunk McDonald's. It's not as bad as Hungry Jack's coffee in Australia. That stuff is shit. But I just don't like McDonald's coffee. So, yeah. Um, so, if I really needed a drink, though, I'd go to McDonald's and I'd get a frozen drink instead. Um, number 11. What is your favourite ice cream? Um, mm. That's really hard. Because ice cream. Um, I like boysenberry. I like Bailey's Irish cream. I like mint chocolate chip. Um, but the ice cream that has the nostalgia factor for me, that if I could still get it, I would buy it just for the nostalgia factor, is an ice cream that I used to be able to get when I was living on my own in um, Adelaide. It was called Almond Mocha Fudge Ice Cream, and it was a basically a... Um, vanilla ice cream with chocolate ripple swirl through it, like a chocolate fudge ripple swirl through it, and chocolate covered almonds, like roasted almonds, and it was bloody delicious. And I use, it only used to come in like one litre containers, it's like all you could buy, um, and on my payday, because I didn't have a freezer when I was living on my own, Um, I used to buy a litre of it and just eat it on payday. Um, yeah. Because I didn't have a freezer to put it in. It's not like I could leave it sitting there. I loved that stuff so much. Number 12. What is your favourite cereal? It depends on... I mean, I actually don't eat cereal anymore. I used to eat it a lot. Um, but it would depend on the mood I'm in. Like, um, crunchy nut cornflakes. I really, really like I also really like muesli, as long as it's a fairly fruity muesli, not a really oaty type of muesli. Um, yeah, and I really like wheat beaks. I think they're a little boring, quite frankly. Um, I don't like plain cornflakes. They're kind of dull. I really don't like rice bubbles. I mean, I've eaten all of these things, but, you know, like when you're a kid, you don't really get a choice. Um, yeah. Uh, number 13, what is your favourite drink? Well, it depends on what you mean by drink. If I was still drinking alcohol, um, which I can't because of my meds, I would go with um, a scotch and dry. Um, I really like to drink water. I drink quite a bit of water. Um, and coffee. So, yeah. They would be the things. Uh, number 14, soup or salad. Um, soup in winter and salad in summer. Actually, I pretty much eat salad year-round. I really like soup in summer, though. So probably salad. If I had to pick, I'd go with salad. And number 15. What is your dream foodie experience? Um, I'm not sure whether to give a smart-ass answer to this or not. Um, I, I honestly don't have a foodie, a dream foodie experience. I'm not like one of those people who's like, I want to go to like France and go to all of these fancy fancy restaurants and like try all of these different you know go to all these five star restaurants or go to one of Jamie Oliver or any of those people's restaurants I'm not that kind of person I just it's just not my jam my dream experience with food would be able to eat whatever I wanted without getting fat which ain't never gonna happen because I have Hashimoto's but that would be my dream, would be able to enjoy the foods that I enjoy without it having a side effect. 
like a negative side effect. That would be my dream, um, which is probably not very realistic, but who cares? So, yeah. Um, so those were my answers to the foodie tag. If you want to do the foodie tag, I will leave less the questions linked, like not linked. I'll leave the questions in the description box down below. I'll also link a bad kitty beauty so you can go and check her out as well. And if you do, tell her I sent you. Um, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content. Leave me a thumbs up if you like tag videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.